can rest for you. And that gives us that as your first experience with those kids was the first one. Sure that you can always zip one side at least. Because otherwise you might think that this latched and then you pick up your violin and it goes both. Okay. Right. Okay, we're your smaller today. enough to, you know, keep the pocket knife and everything. Uh -huh. it's not quite there yet. Yeah, you know, I used to carry a Swiss Army knife in my purse on all airplanes and oh, yeah. not anymore. Yeah. <laughs> and I used to use it, especially the wine opener. <laughs> I did not. Mm -hmm. She told me I want the flattest thing humanly possible. <laughs> so I said yes, dear, and figured we'd fix it if it wasn't. You need so. a little bit of a um, of a swoop. Nothing. It's great, you know, because they balance the instrument on the collarbone. And, uh, okay, let's see what we have, Sadie. That's comfy. And you come over here. What do you think? I, okay, so let's just rest it here and let's put the hand here. I think we hit the jackpot. Yeah, so this we're going to just let the yeah instrument be here. Let's check the shoulder. Donnie can just check that the shoulder stays down. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's good. Yeah. Okay, and how's your A? Okay, so 
should be still on the floor. And how should box level coming along? going to do uh, with this chin rest, it puts your violin in a slightly different angle. So let's just play an open A.
Can you move on to this one? Yep. Okay. And I want the whole thing for next time. Okay? Got it. Okay. So that's that. And how about you're preparing for choices? And are we doing this one here? Yes. Okay. Can we first do this open A? Uh, so we want to start at the frog, and we want to do so.
In your arm? Up there. In which one? Up this one. Okay. Can you just do your stretch with Liberty and just rest the line in here? Good. Good. That's right. And can you look at the at the ceiling? Take your head off. Good. And then just gently put your head down. Good. Okay. And now just rock your arm. This arm. I have your violin. And can you just extend your arm? Good. Just underneath here. Just under and roll it over. That's right. Good. And then just bend your elbow and get your violin position. Okay. Does that make sense? Okay. I want to show you something. We're going to put the violin down. Okay. So we're going to just drop the arm. Good job. Yeah. And then instead of then, then can you do this? Just do your violin position. Now, let's say you want to raise your violin. You see, what you're doing is this, right? Okay, so drop the arm. Right? You want to just open your arm and raise the arm, and now bend the arm. Do you feel the difference? Yes. Okay, so let's do that again. So we just op open your arm. Good, you can go higher. You can go way high, and it's you're not raising your shoulder, right? Mm -hmm. That's right. And now just bring it down and then bend. That's it. That's how you keep your shoulder really loose. So let's do that again. Mm. Okay. So we're going to put the violin up. Yeah, just raise your violin. Good. Now just I'll hold your violin. Just drop your arm. But shoulders down, right? And then just raise your arm. That's right. And now bend your elbow. Bend the elbow. There we have it. That feels different, doesn't it? Yes. Okay, can we do that a few times? So just lengthen your arm. Good. 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 Okay, now just keep keep it like that and let's try the beginning.
feel? Do you feel different? Yes. Does it feel less strained? Yes. Yes. Okay, perfect. Okay, so we're going on a tattoo on this one. And today is February 1st. Is this the day the groundhog is supposed to come out or is it tomorrow? Oh, February 2nd. Use your shadow so we get rid of winter. Okay, so whoops. so cold. I know, I know, but it's gonna be warm by the end of the week. Okay, so this one we're gonna do a couple different ways. We're first gonna do some lay in the upper half. So we'll do two lines. This is an extension, by the way. In Marchelet upper half. And then we're going to do March Lay lower half. And then we're going to do two stops per bow. And then we're going to do four stops per bow. Okay? Okay. Okay, so that's how to work on this. And how are you doing with your double stop? This one, okay. Good, so let's do your A again. We'll get you. Good, so when, whenever you stop, just drop your arm and make it long, as long as you can, and then bend it. And there you have it. Good. And
Okay? Can we review this so we get a light, beautiful sound? Yes. Okay? And Zombie, we can help you with this too. Okay? Okay, so that's very good there. And which Stradiac are we doing? We spent a lot of time on one that was not the latest one, but had a lot of explore extensions. We haven't done in. these two, but we would. Okay, okay, so let me hear this one with eight per bow. Good, and always start with your statue of liberty so that you can come down. That's good. Does it look okay from the back? Does he look okay from the back? Oh, yeah. Yeah. probably doing the whole measure per bow, but it's good practice to do eight per bow also. So I this told is, you so. Huh? I told you so. Uh, we were arguing about this. Yeah. Good. Okay. So this, this, okay. Drop your arm. Drop your arm. Good. And now up and then. That's it. So Yeah. And then up bow. 
your dad's part here. Can we just, uh, you gotta get out of his way.
Right, okay, you did just really well. So here's another passage that needs a lot of repetition, right? Okay, so let's go uh, from down up. Down bow. So what? <laughs> We're doing all these things so that you will be comfortable. And and what? and sound good. Better than good. Okie dokie. 